Well, that primary school in central London doing all it can to keep children safe. And we wanted to know how you were feeling about uh, the safety in your child's school. Well, we asked in a survey on social media whether you thought it was safe to send your child. Well, joining me now to talk more about uh, this in more detail is... Next tonight, he's known as the train daddy after turning around the fortunes of the New York subway system. And today, Andy Byford was revealed as the new Transport for London commissioner with quite the job ahead of him. Our political correspondent, Simon Harris, is outside Russell Square. Former Millwall and Brentwood town footballer Christian Boulou has died at the age of 23. Originally... Now, for those seeking asylum in this country, it can be a long and agonising wait before their settled status is confirmed. And while they wait, their temporary immigration status means they don't have any access to public funding. That includes things like housing benefits, universal credit and income support. A difficult situation that has only been made worse by the coronavirus pandemic. Rhea Chatterjee has been speaking anonymously to one woman sharing her story. Well, in the last hour, the Prime Minister has said that he is committed to finding out how many people are in this situation and how the government can help. He said it was clear that people who have worked hard for this country should have support. Life in lockdown has meant more of us spending our days at home, and many of us too, taking the opportunity to get rid of clutter. But a new campaign is encouraging us to think twice before just chucking out that old toaster or microwave. The Little Spring Clean campaign is urging us to recycle our electrical goods instead. Well, it's fronted by TV presenter Connie Huck. Now, during lockdown, home improvements have been high on the list of things keeping people occupied and not to be forgotten are, of course, the gardens, balconies and window boxes becoming somewhat of a haven for many. The reopening of garden centres last week was music to the ears of those who've developed green fingers over the last few months. Uh, one of those in bloom is Petersham Nurseries in Richmond. Sally was there earlier on this evening. And finally, Connections is a senior group based in Claygate in Surrey who usually meet for coffee and a chat during the week. But with many members self-isolating now for a number of months, those helping run the service have had to find other ways of keeping the group connected. Well, Daily Hope is a phone line for people to call where they can listen to hymns, reflections and prayers. And it's been so popular, it's already had a, over 100 thousand calls. Well, at the end of Martin Stew's report, we'll be giving you the free phone number. So you've got time to grab your pen and paper if you're interested.